Hello guys, today we're going to review Super Mario Bros. 2 USA. So, so yeah. Alright, so, th this game has a story. Mario was, Mario was sleeping. He saw the stairway to Subcon. Then he wakes up, and then he sees the same stair. Stairs, stairway from his game. Not from, from the game. I mean, from his dream. So, yeah. And also, Wart uses a subcon. The subcon, yeah, seriously, that's what the, uh, that's what the small fairies are called in, in the game. For his power. The dream machine. And you hurt him with the dream machine. That's stupid. Anyway. So. The game, on like the last game, you, you, you uh, you have to throw things at enemies now, so, so yeah. The Fire Flowers is an uh, exit from this game, then you go through, through this, um, through this, which, which, uh, which attracts the opposite, so, yeah. The Pal Block from the original game kills everything in sight, almost everything. So yeah, no enemies or Bowser return from the last game. But that's not really a bad thing, because uh, this game is a reskin of Booky Doki Panic. I'm only going to say that, so that's it. Anyway, let's get let's get to the enemies. We're only going to talk about the bad enemies, because the enemies in this game are pretty damn boring. So, so you got Sparks, they're pretty damn annoying. Some, some of them move slow, some of them move fast. We got Pazers, they come in three different flavors, and the Fanto, the guy that you get the key from. He'll chase you, if you're holding the key. Just, just throw the key down, and uh, that should stop him. Anyway, you can also score extra lives. There's 1-Up Mushrooms, and also, you get coins from the, uh, from the opposite world. I don't remember what it's called. You'll have chances to roll up. For extra lives. Oh yeah, in this game you can also charge or jump. So yeah, but right me too. Yep. So let's get to the bosses. The bosses are in this game, thankfully not Bowser. So yeah, first we have Birdo. You fight, you fight her or him every time. Besides for one. You meet different versions. Red ones, which just shoot, which add fire to the mix, and the green ones, um, they only shoot fire. Next is Mouser. He throws bombs. That's it. Seriously, that's it. You fight him twice. Trackly shoots a random barrage of a uh, of fire at you. And again, you fight. You also fight him twice. All right, Frog guy. So he's pretty a pain in the ass to kill. He shoots fire. You throw, you have to hit him like three times, he will, sorry guys, anyway, that was an ad there, so, yep, yeah, or my phone does that often for some reason, anyway, as I was saying, he'll split, split into four, and each time you hit him, he gets more tricky and faster, anyway, there's also, there's warps in this game as well, the mushrooms grow your health in this game. Next, we have Claw Grip, or Claw Glip. He throws rocks, and you have to use his rocks to, as a projectile to kill him. Anyway, in the last two bosses we have, is the Mass Gate. He just flies around. So, yeah, the truth that's it. He didn't have attack of pattern or anything. He just flies around. Anyway, Wart. He shoots bubbles. You gotta, you gotta use his Dream Machine, which vegetables come out of. That seriously is a bad metric for kids. Anyway, Hold on. So he uses the dream machine, but his property kills him. What a dumbass. No wonder why he's not in another Mario game. He's like a fucking moron, is he does. Yep. Anyway. And also there's Robo Roberto, but she's only in the Game Boy Advance version of the game. Next is the items. So I just said no. No, no flower flowers return for this game. Also, you collect five cherries. 
So yeah, five cherries. That was a notification. Anyway, there's health mushrooms, which I actually saw give you gives you one heart. So this was the first Mario game to have hearts in it. Next we have Koopa shells. You kick them, just like the original. As we mentioned, the pow pow block and star man. There's bombs, and, have, and also what we just mentioned is keys. So yeah, that's it. Another ad. Sorry guys. Anyway, as I was saying, so yeah, that's it. And then the enemy, and then war, the then in the subcon people, you got uh, God knows what to war. So yeah. All right, so let's talk more about Dookie Dookie Panic. So Americans were hungry for a mo another Mario game since the first one did extremely well. So yeah. Anyway, I was saying, <clears throat> the enemies in this game are pretty damn boring. So yeah. Anyway. Yeah, so there's nothing new in this game at all. Actually, there is. And some of the enemies in this game will, will be staples, like the Shy Guys, the Pokies, and the Bombs. And Birdo will become a staple. So, yeah. By the way, Wart has a cameo in Link's Awakening. And, yeah, Link, Link's Awakening. So, yeah. Also, Ninjis. They return, for Super, they return in Super Mario World. But, you only see them at one stage. So yeah, unlike the lost levels, this game doesn't have any bonus worlds. So yeah, yeah. In this game, there's also uh warp zones. All right, so let's go in depth about the game. World one easy, world two easy, world three easy, world four is a bit hard because of the ice slipperiness, but hey, it should be fine. So yeah. Next, after that, there's World Five. That hey, the world's kinda hard. Yeah. World Six is also kinda hard. And then there's World Seven. So pretty damn hard. So yeah. So that's it for the for this review. Really, that's it. Yeah. yeah so yeah. By the way, we also, but this time we also wrote ourselves a script. Usually we don't do that, but this time we do. So yeah. Okay, for, for the sake of it, you enter in the bird's mouth and you have to collect the orb. I didn't know this was Castlevania, but anyway, yeah. Here's one of the bosses right now. So our rating of this game is a, a good game. 7 out of 10 pretty good game and yeah so yeah and also if you want to know you have to kill enemies but throwing it to another enemy instead of jumping on them anyway next time we'll go to we'll review mario 3 right place yeah so i remember countdown is going to come back they'll come back eventually but yeah anyways pizza hold on we forgot about something what is it? The characters. Alright, before we end this video, we gotta talk about that. Mario's your balanced one. Luigi jumps higher, and has piss poor retraction and higher time in the air, just like lost levels. Me, Toad, runs fast, and picks up shit the fastest, but, he's a, but he jumps really, his jump is really bad. And Princess Peach can hover. Yeah, unlike the last two games, she doesn't get kidnapped in the game. So, yeah. Anyway, she can hover, but she picks up shit the slowest. So, yeah. Anyways, we see you guys next time for Lost Levels. Anyways, I mean for Smarter 3. Anyways, peace out.